Okay, in this video we're going to talk about least common multiples and greatest common divisors or greatest common factors. Okay, excuse me. Least common multiples represented as LCM. And in order for a number to be the least common multiple, it first has to be a multiple. And to get a multiple, we're always going to look at to find the least common multiple, we're always going to think about the fact that it has to be greater than or equal to the largest number. So if we had numbers like 2 and 3, the least common multiple would have to be greater than or equal to 3. Okay. Now, the greatest common factor or greatest common divisor, GCD or GCF, remember divisor factor depends on whether we're looking at division or, or multiplication, all right, will always be less than or equal to the smallest. So this is saying that the greatest common factor between those two will always, will have to be less than or equal to 2. So the only thing it could be is 1 or 2, and we know that it's 1 because nothing goes into those. The least common multiple here would be the smallest multiple that's the same in both lists. So if we were to write the multiples of 2, we would have 2 times 1 is 2, 2 times 2 is 4, 2 times 3, 2 times 3 is 6, 2 times 4 is 8, and so forth. All right, the multiples of 3 are 3, 6, and we can stop when we find one that's common. So the least common multiple is the smallest number that occurs in both lists. Okay? Now, in order to find the greatest common factor, we're going to make a list of all the factors. So this is relatively easy because the factors for 1 are 1 and 2, the factors for 3 or 1 and 3. So the greatest, the largest thing that occurs in both lists is the greatest common factor. Okay? Now, this is easy to do using listing factors method, but let's say we get to numbers like 18 and 24. These are still relatively easy to do, but we're going to do these using our factor tree and prime factorization. So to do that, 18 can factor into 2 times 9, and then 9 factors into 3 times 3. So prime factors for 18 are 2 times 3 to the second. For 24, we have 4 times 6, and then 4 is 2 times 2, and those are both prime, and 6 is 2 times 3. Those are both prime. So prime factors for 24 are 2 to the third power times 3. So we have 3 twos, 1 3. Now, to find the GCF, first of all, we look for the things that are the, that are common in both. Okay, if I look at both of these, I have a 2 in both and a 3 in both. Alright, so the first thing I'm going to do is write my basis down. And then I have to determine which factor or which exponent that I need for that base. To do that, I have to think about things that are factors. And remember, go back to the fact that the greatest common factor is less than or equal to the smallest. So think about that. So we're going to be looking for the smallest factor, the smallest power. So for the greatest common factor, is it 1 or 3, and it will be the 1. For the 3, is it 2 or 1, and it will be the 1. So the greatest common factor for 18 and 24 is 2 times 3, okay? And if we go ahead and multiply that out, we get 6, and we think about that, and we list the factors of 18 are 1 and 18, 2 and 9, and 3 
and 6. Okay, the factors of 24 are 1 and 24, 2 and 12, 3 and 8, 4 and 6. So to find the greatest common factor, after I list all my factors, I want the largest number that occurs in both lists. We have a 1, 2, 3, but in both lists, the largest number that we have is the 6, which is exactly what we got. So let's go back over it again. It will be the smallest power represented by everything that's common. So let's just say, for example, whatever these numbers are, we have 2 to the 4th times 3 to the 2nd or one set of prime factors. Okay. And let's say for another set of prime factors, we have 2 to the 2nd, um, 5, and 7 to the 2nd. All right, so the GCF for these is what's common. What's the only thing common to both of those? It's a 2. And we always want the smallest power, which would be to the 2nd, because 2 is smaller than 4. Okay, so the greatest common factor between these two numbers would be 2 to the second or 4. Okay, now to find the least common multiple, I have to have everything represented that's in both. Okay, so the easiest way for me to think about that is just to write down what we have here. Okay. Then go to the other one and forget about that. And here I have a 2 to the third power. So I've already got one 2, so I need two more. And I'm just going to write them down like this so it's easier to see. Okay, then here I have a 3 to the second, so I don't need to worry. That's taken care of. So my least common multiple then actually would be 2 to the 1, 2, 3 times 3 to the second. And the way to look at that now to find the least common multiple, we write down everything and we pick the largest powers for each one. So the least common multiple here would be 2 times 2 is 4 times 2 is 8, 3 times 3 is 9, so the least common multiple is 72. Okay, now let's look at this one. All right, so here to find the least common multiple, whatever this number is, I have to have 2 to the 4th. I've got to have 3 to the 2nd. Now let's go here. I need 2 to the 2nd. I've already got it taken care of in that. I need a 5. Don't have one of those, so I write it down. Okay, and whatever the power would be. It's only in that, so I have to have it represented. Now, I also have a 7, and I particularly have 7 to the second. So again, the strategy. To find the greatest common factor, we look for the ones that are the same and pick the smallest power. For the least common multiple, we write down everything represented in both and pick the largest power. So least gets the largest power, greatest gets the smallest power. Just the opposite of what you think that it would be.